A baby boy born in Ontario has a jump start on dealing with the ups and downs of life. Yeah, it seems like baby Silas just couldn't wait long enough to make it to the delivery room. Tammy Scardino joins us live in studio with his story. Michelle, it was a first for St. Alphonsus. There have been times when babies barely made it into the delivery room. Some have even been delivered in the hospital parking lot, but never before has a mom delivered in this hospital's elevator. That's the first sound baby Silas heard when he came into this world early Monday morning. The whirlwind experience is still setting in for his mother, Janae Schiffauer. It still seems surreal to me. It doesn't seem like that really happened just because of the way it happened, how fast. Janae didn't think anything of it when she started having contractions before leaving the house. She was scheduled to be induced a day after the nine month mark. By the time the Fruitland couple pulled up in the parking lot, her contractions became more apparent. The elevator door closed. And her water broke. We got into the elevator and from the first floor to the third floor, it just happened so fast. Janae's husband of 12 years was able to catch the baby mid-air. It was just so slow motion. I just, it's instantly what I was thinking, like you cannot drop, you have to make this catch. And it was just the couple say hospital staff looked shocked when the elevator door opened. With four sisters at home to greet baby Silas, his parents think it's fitting he's already carving out a spot in the family. I'm done. <laughs> we're done. <No> more. <laughs> yeah, we're done. Yeah, five's good. By the way, Silas is doing just fine. There were no complications. Mom was in labor for six to seven hours for his sisters, all four of them. Live in studio, Tammy Scardino today, six on your side. Wow.